Hi everyone, my name is Holly. I'm the Senior CSM at LMN. Today, I am here with you to go through setting up your customer portal and how to invite customers to join. Just going to get started here by exiting out of this slide so I could do a live demo for you. Okay, so first we're gonna have a look at setting up the portal defaults. To do that, we're gonna go to account and that's on the far right side, or sorry, far left side of your LMN home account. Going to scroll down to portal setup and this is where you can set up your portal defaults. The defaults can be customized customer by customer but of course if you have a similar setup for uh, the majority of your contracts so you're not having to change it all the time this is where you want to set up whatever that default may be. Looking at the defaults, we can show you um, the scheduled dates and info. We can also show you actual dates and info. You have options to show your customer uh, the GPS verification, so whether you want to show them the punch in time or the punch out time, um, whether or not to include weather notes, to show equipment notes, um, punch in time, show services completed, show timesheet photos, show timesheet photo comments. Below, you'll also see that we have our live uh, map color settings. I'll show you what that will look like from your customer's perspective as well from your perspective looking in element time. You can set by default if you want your customers to see when you've been there within the last 12 hours, 48 hours, 96 hours. This is particularly helpful for, for snow. However, it can be um, kind of an, an added advantage of something that you can show off to your customers. If you're going there uh, weekly for, for maintenance, then they're not going to see a, a drastic change in, in colors all the time, uh, but certainly it could be something that you could set the intervals that would be applicable to the information that they're seeking. On the right side, this is the logo that's going to appear. Uh, within the customer portal. So when you invite your customer to join the customer uh, portal, they'll see this logo with the invitation. The portal link is your unique link uh, for your LMN customer portal that you can share with your customers. A lot of companies embed this on their website so customers um, are able to uh, highlight the, the, sorry, users are able to highlight the portal. Customers can see that you actually have a portal. Uh, and are maybe more inclined to sign on with you because this is a different offering than other landscape companies. Below is online payments. The online payments is where you're gonna connect your merchant account as well as is where you're gonna review your online transactions. And then should for whatever reason there be a change if needed to disable online payments. And that is our portal defaults. Next thing I'm gonna show you is through the CRM and how we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna invite our customers to see our portal. So I'm gonna to go to contacts. Holly. Now that I'm within my um, contact, you'll notice a new tab on the far right, portal setup. Click on that tab. And you'll see here that you have um, the options that were outlined within the portal defaults. You can change these options as needed. So say for this particular customer, I didn't want to actually show them schedule information or I wanted to show uh, weather notes, but I didn't want to show equipment notes, et cetera. You're able to customize as needed. You can also change the intervals as needed as well. So if you want to change it from your defaults. In order to send a customer invite, you're just going to go up to the top right of the account and click send customer invite. From there, you can choose a recipient from your list or you can just enter an email address to invite that contact. Once you've uh, invited the admin, if you will, who would be like the, the main user, the main point of contact, they'll receive an email and they can add additional portal users. So perhaps uh, they work, maybe it's a commercial property, the project supervisor is the, um, 
person that's going to log into the portal, check out the work that's done, and then perhaps there's another user, the accountant, that's going to be paying uh, the bills on the, the property's behalf. So those are some scenarios where you may have more than one user. Uh, we would recommend that you invite that main user and then they can, of course, within the customer portal, invite others and assign them the appropriate permissions. So now that we've seen uh, where to set up our portal defaults, we've also had a look at uh, the customer view for portal defaults, how to invite a customer. Well, check out what it looks like from the customer's end. What do they see? So for this particular customer who is myself, I'm actually just gonna go back to my permissions here and turn on as many permissions as possible. See everything. Okay. So I've gone now to the portal, logged into the portal. So I'm logging in as the customer. So this is what your customer would see logging into the portal. This is what uh, they're prompted with initially. So as they log in, they can see the last visits. Uh, pictured in front of you here is just a dashboard of the last couple of clock-ins that I have at this property. You'll see that there's also photos. So with LMN Pro, you're able to upload photos to the job. Um, this is great for transparency with your client. Uh, in addition, these are photos that you can use for your social media. I can have a look at uh, my job sites. So again, if you're working with commercial uh, companies that have multiple different uh, job sites or restaurant chains, um, you could load all that information into LMN for that project manager or supervisor to be able to, to see. So here I have my two locations. I can see any clock-in activity. When I click on one of my jobs, I'm getting more description of the services that were completed, as well as my time in, out, notes, et cetera. It's also highlighting that I service this property within uh, 12 hours or less than 12 hours. So that's why both of these are in green. The other added benefit with the portal is that customers can now pay invoices online. Um, so with that said, you can upload invoices, publish them to the portal for your customers to then make payment through the portal for you. So invoices certainly available right here. If you want to look at a few. That's what the invoice looks like. So we have your logo. In addition, we have uh, the billing information. Um, you can customize your invoices if you're wanting to show um, maybe what monthly contract services were completed for May. You can certainly add that detail uh, through setting up services with linked activities in uh, Element Time. And I mentioned this uh, prior when we were setting up, we were going to invite another uh, user to the portal. Is that once you've invited one user, that's kind of your main contact, you shouldn't be inviting other users. Um, they should be adding other users from their organization to the portal. So they can do so very easily. As you'll see here, I'm the admin. And then I've set up another Holly uh, and I've given her accounting access. On the right here are the permissions that we have uh, for the portal. So it's access levels of description. So as you sign up a user, you just fill out their email, fill out what access that they have. They'll receive a link that they've been invited um, and they'll have to create their own profile in order to log in. And then um, you can enable or disable uh, payment notifications as well. Should you need to change your password and for your customer, this is where they would upload their payment method. I'm going to take you over to LMN Time now just to show you that live map um, from your perspective versus the customer's perspective. So here we have the, the live map. So the customer can see 
um, their job site properties. When you're looking at the live map through your eyes, you're going to see a lot more information. So you're going to see all the properties on that route, when these properties were serviced. Um, and it's a different view, obviously, than what it would look like from the customer's perspective, but super helpful, which is why I just wanted to make mention of this feature. I'm just going to take a pause and see if we have any questions um, so far. Um, please feel free to ask your questions. There's a chat box within the GoToWebinar uh, meeting window, so feel free to ask any questions that you have. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Okay, I have a question. Um, is there a way to see which customers I've already invited to the portal? Okay. Uh, yes, there is. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, within our last update, we uh, created, we added a feature that you're able to sort your customers that have been invited to the portal. So I'll just show you what that looks like. I'm going to go back to the CRM. And it's just this checkbox right here. So if I just want to look at my portal customers, I can simply just check that checkbox. There we go. So all these customers have been invited to join the portal. Okay, and I have another question here. I don't want to show my customers all the information about the job site activity. Can I just use the portal for invoicing? Uh, yes, you can. Great question. You absolutely can. Um, if that were the case, then you just wouldn't give them any permissions to anything else. So we're going to go ahead and we'll restrict all the permissions. I can show you what that would look like through the portal setup. So we effectively would just turn off all this information, leave the payments enabled, and then I'll show you what that looks like from the portal standpoint. So as you see, I've restricted all that permissions. I went directly back to the portal and everything's gone about the job site. So the customer can only see uh, the information that you've made available, in this case, just invoices. I have another question. Is there a suggested uh, resolution to use when uploading a logo to the portal? Um, great question. I would recommend visiting our, our help desk. Um, we have an article about uh, the, the logo and the different specs that you can upload into the portal. Um, the specs, I believe, are uh, like 304 pixels by 122 pixels, but I, I would recommend just uploading. If you have any questions about um, getting the best image into the, the portal, uh, feel free to contact our support desk. And then another user has asked, how do I edit the company information that's sent with the link to my customer? So I'm assuming that you're looking to edit the company information, so your company address. Um, that portion is actually done in element time. So let me just take you to where that would be set up. So if I go to element time, and I'm going to click on the gear icon on the top right. And I'm going to click on uh, company info. This company info is the information that's sent with the link for your customer. So when they see that it's uh, Big Max Landscaping or whichever my company name may be, uh, this is the information that they'll find. I have a, a question. Are you able to control a uh, dollar value for credit card payment? If you just wouldn't mind elaborating on your question, um, the customer would be able to set whether or not they wanted to pay the whole invoice or if they wanted to pay a portion of the invoice. Um, please, uh, if you could elaborate a little bit more on that, your question, just so I can make sure that I'm able to answer it. Uh, 
Uh, so pay up to $500 only. So I still not 100% clear on, on the question. So if you want your customer, uh, if you have an invoice for $500, you want to cap them so they can only pay $500. Um, if you, again, could elaborate, just so I have a little bit more information, I'd be happy to answer. All other invoices over 500 to be paid by check, e-transfer, et cetera. Okay, uh, so there's not a, a, a cap, so they can pay whichever method that you would like them to pay that they've set up. So if you've set up uh, Card Connect, who we use as a, a payment processor, and that's how the customer pays, they can pay through Card Connect. Uh, in addition, they could give you a check, and then in the near future, uh, very shortly, we'll be releasing ACH payments, so then they'll be able to pay via uh, bank transfer. Uh, but there's not a, a way to stop them. If it's over $500, you have to pay a different method. I feel like that would answer your question. Does Card Connect charge us or the client a fee for the credit card? Um, so that would be, they would charge you a fee. They wouldn't charge the customer a fee. Uh, for any information on Card Connect, I would recommend getting in touch with them directly. Uh, they'll be able to provide you the, the best information on, on the fees. And if you're currently with another payment processor, uh, I'm, I'm sure they would love to have you as a customer and, and can probably offer some competitive pricing. Okay. Well, I just wanted to thank you all for um, joining today and going over this week's product tip with me. I have um, in front of you now is our forms library. Just a reminder that we do have 700 forms and processes that are available for a free download right within your Element account under the forms uh, library there. In addition, we have our um, training programs that are available. Uh, we do have our Element Academy. Uh, we have our LMN, um, sorry, workshop series. And then we have our Facebook LMN user group as well, which is used for the user group. And we have our LinkedIn group here. Uh, the LinkedIn group is, is um, they're both of the groups, my apologies, I'm losing my train of thought. Both of the groups are excellent. The Facebook group is, is quite rowdy. There's a lot of users there. It's grown tremendously over the past uh, year. Uh, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Uh, LinkedIn group, also really great. A lot of good shares there. I wanted to highlight again, I mentioned this, the Element Academy. We do have our workshops. We do have these webinars, which are a part of today. And then uh, lastly, you can, every account is assigned an account rep. Um, you can book with us. We can review your information with you to ensure that you're uh, up to snuff with everything with the customer portal for a smooth rollout. Well, thank you all for joining today. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope you have a great day.